Hey everybody, the Reese Wirrell here, and welcome to the next re-LP on my list, which is Far Cry 2. Uh, I'm actually getting fairly close to the end of that bloody list, which is an amazing feeling. So, yeah, it's, it's good. But I've already tried recording this, but unfortunately... Some stuff screwed up. I'm quite happy though because it means I can choose my character again and hopefully get a different buddy this time. Uh, I remember who I played as when I first did this game though because I actually went back and watched it. I played as Marty Allencar. Last time I played as Warren Clyde. And this time I think I'm actually going to play as Xing Yong Bai. But I never actually uh, spoke about this earlier. In Far Cry 2, you get to choose who you want to play as. Like, you can play as many, many different people. Like, there's a lot of dudes you can choose from. It's quite stupid and slightly sexist that you can only play as the dudes. Because there are two female characters, but they don't let you play as them. I'm actually tempted on going for Paul Ferenc. But, I really don't know. I think I will be Paul, actually. I've never played as Paul before. Let's do it. Alright, yeah. But I think what I'll do in this session is probably the same as what I did last session, which was all the tutorial stuff, because you have to do them. And then I did every side mission, like one of each side mission, and then I think... I, I was saying I might do them off screen, but I think I might just do them on screen because they're actually really fucking fun to do on screen. But yeah, if I did anything off screen, it'd probably be diamond hunting. The currency for this game is diamonds, if you didn't know. Uh, nothing else is worth shit, as they even tell you. There's someone, there's one of the dudes, one of the guys actually say, like, it's fine. That he wouldn't even wipe his ass with paper money. <laughs> cool. Oh, he's putting on the the radio. Actually, one thing I'll just check before anything happens is the sound. Okay, it's at full. Uh, yeah. What? Am I sure? Yes, because I didn't change anything. Display. I don't need to change the game. The sensitivity I might turn down, because I'm pretty sure I have that set, maybe set too high, but I don't really know. Oh dear. Alright, saving. Oh, I thought I froze the game. It scared me. Alright, okay. Carry on, sir. Alright. Alright. That's good. Only money and connections. This start, the start of the game takes quite a while. Not an incredibly long time, but it's the journey to Pala. If you look at that there. <laughs> no, if you look at the map that's down there, I'm pretty sure that's like our journey from the airstrip to Pala. Oh, right. Huh. Yeah. Might turn the game up, actually. Oh my god, it's on 60. Let's put the bad boy on 90. Fuck okay, it, I'll put it on 100. <laughs> That's probably a bit too loud now. And the dial on this mic doesn't actually do anything. Shit. I guess I'll turn it down then. Back down to 80 you go. Yeah, there we go. What are they? Buffaloes, I think. Whoa, hello. Look, it's a, it's a, it's a goat. I think. Goat, chicken, buffalo. I think they're buffaloes. The la <laughs> when I actually recorded this, it was either yesterday or the day before. No, it was Wednesday. Wednesday night, I was like, it's a cow! And then I realized, I was like, shit, that's not a cow. What is that? Is that a bull? <laughs> but no, I'm pretty sure it's a buffalo. 
Uh huh. Right. Oh, nice. Just a point to make. That doesn't seem to happen in my experience. Parts of the world don't just spontaneously come bust when the sun's out. I don't know if that happens at some points, but in my experience I've not had it happen. That dude does change. All these guys randomly change. Because when I recorded on Wednesday, this guy walking up to me was white. And he wore a blue t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That guy's always white though. Come from the airport. Oh no. <laughs> the cheesy... Cheesy accent is coming. We drink beer. Hurry up then. I love the voice. I really like the voice, but it doesn't fit. Whoa, he's staring into my soul. Goodbye. Beer. We drink beer. It's just the way he says it. Hey. Oh, yeah. So what's Paul wearing? T-shirt, a jacket, and that's about it. Not bad. Yeah, I was going to play a Zingyong, but... Or oh, Zion Young. I don't know how you say his name. That's probably a good idea why a good choice to not be him. Because if I can't pronounce his name, or if I constantly butcher his name, then that's just embarrassing. Whoa. Mercenaries. Actually, they're just militia. Cargo! Wait, no, that isn't cargo. That's soldiers. Lot of troops nowadays. It's okay. They keep to themselves most of the time. Well, that's good. But I'm pretty sure I've made it through the entire game and there's like four characters I've never played as. I've never played as the Irish bloke. I've never played as that Kobani song. Uh, I've not played as like Joseph. Or Yosef. The old guy that's like 48. Um, I think he's American. I don't remember. I've not played as him. And I've not played as the guy from Hungary. And the black guy. I've not played as him either. So yeah, I've not played as many characters. Although I do really like the game. It's just... <laughs> it's got some interesting like things within it. It's a really big game, really. But like, with the last... When I last recorded it, I started to get rather sick of the game. So I ended up giving up with like doing side stuff. And I just kind of focused on the story in the end. And even the story got me incredibly pissed off. I specifically remember one of the episodes in which I got killed by an RPG. I was just like cursing up a storm. Hey, are you okay? No. You so good. You tired? No. It's just the way he says, you don't look so good. Let's get you inside, okay? Out of the cab. It's like, get out. Get out of my property. Need help? Visit farcrygame.com slash help. Five minutes in this country and it's clear things are about to go very bad. The UFL and the APR are get Fuck's sake, they don't give you enough time to bloody read. <gasps> it's the Jackal. I haven't actually mentioned, this game features one of my favorite quotes of all time. And it's closely followed by, like, my second favorite quote of all time. Also it comes from a video game, which is, it ain't the fall that gets you. It's the sudden stop at the bomb. I'll shush now. The tiger's presence in the state continues to be the stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the joint signatory framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. Yeah. Orders are to terminate. Well, that didn't work out the way they planned. I'm still breathing and you're the one with malaria. Yep. You can tell them you try, but that means fuck all, doesn't it? <gasps> you're fired. You know it, and so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You talk a lot. You'll have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Nobody. Whoa! Besides who lives and who dies, me. Shoot me then. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. 
about it every day. Fuck's sake. Those who understand life out here, the book talks about men and what motivates them. Simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. Jesus Christ. So long. Peace out, bro. I think we just pass out. But yeah, one thing in this game that is very annoying. Very cool feature, not gonna lie. But it is very annoying. You have malaria. And you suffer from a malaria attack. I think it's every 20 minutes. Like every real life 20 minutes. Holy crap, that was loud. Gaboom. Give me the machete. The one thing I don't like about this game, now that I've played a shitload more since playing this, is the fact that the weapon layout is very weird. You press up on the D-pad to select your machete, right on the D-pad to select your secondary weapon, left on the D-pad to select your primary, and down on the D-pad to select your special weapon. Which I really don't like. Mostly because I'm so used to pressing Y to switch weapons. But in this game, Y is the interaction button. Uh, pull and hold, left trigger. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows about iron sights. If they've played a damn shooter. There we go. And one thing this game features, which not many others do. I don't think... Like, I don't actually know if any feature this... Other than this game. I've not really experienced it. Other than in this game. And that's basically. That a weapon degrades over time. So like. you sh If you shoot it a lot. It'll start to show signs of wear. Yeah if you shoot it a lot. It'll show signs of wear. And when it gets to a point of like. Really bad use. It'll be rusted to fuck. And it also, the game kind of tells you to not use enemy weapons. You do find out, like, why. Because if you pick up an enemy weapon, it's incredibly well worn. Like, wait, if I switch to this. Oh no, they're all, they're all like, perfect condition in this. I'll show you, like, at a later point. Because it will, it will be a valid point to make. Whoa. So this is pretty much a firefight between the APR and the UFLL. Escape! Escape the village! I wonder if it lets you. I've never actually tried. Oh my god, it does. I'm home free, baby! Yay! Although you have a malaria attack, so... This is going to be short-lived. <laughs> Yay! I'm free! Do I have a map? I do! Yeah, fuck it, let's go. I think we start to... We'll probably collapse in a second. I've never actually done this before, though. There we go. After so long, you just pass out. Um, so that that's cool. But we have no malaria medicine, so... Yep, you just pass out, and then you get picked up. There you go. In fairness, this makes more sense. Well, it, it... If you pass out in the middle of the village, it kind of makes sense. But I passed out, like, on an open road where people would go in their cars, or vans, whatever. So that, that, that is actually kind of logical, because it means they could have just drove up, seen me, picked me up, and taken me back to where we're going to be. I never actually thought about that. It doesn't really make sense in some cases in the village. Like, you can run around uh, some places in the village, and like, you could be in a back alley when you pass out, and I'm just like, how the hell would they know you're there? Who's this? Hey, it's a different guy. You're different. Than my last guy, which is awesome. Oh! Oh! Ooh wee, that was not nasty. Not nasty, not nice. You and my friend are a problem. What outfit are you with? Should have mind your own business at the hotel. You got one of my boys killed, you know. Sorry. Tell you what, how about you do some work for me now? Get on out here. Get yourself kitted out. We got ammo and med, long rifle, pistol, whatever. Alright. So where are we at? 
We're at the lumber. Oh shit, I've never actually started at the lumber place. 